A Tucson mom wants to share her story about navigating a rare stage four cancer diagnosis. Alexandra Wolf says previous doctors misdiagnosed her symptoms until her care team learned her condition was severe. Our Brooke Chow joining us in studio sharing part of that deep conversation. Brooke, also some lessons Wolf has learned in the process she thinks can also help others in our community. Definitely. So Alexandra is actually a really young mom here in Tucson, and she has a lot of fight in her. When I talk to her, she tells me that she is currently battling stage four pleomorphic leiomyosarcoma. That cancer makes up only 1% of cancers in adults. Now Alexandra shares her roller coaster journey through cancer and her determination to raise awareness on sarcomas. Take a listen. I'm young. I'm strong. I have a lot of fight in me. I have a lot of reason to fight. <laughs> Nearly four years ago, local hairdresser Alexandra Wolf noticed her left leg was in pain. Doctors telling her. It's fine. You stand on your feet all day. Of course, your legs are going to hurt, you know, but I was very confused as to why one leg hurt so badly and not the other one. After what Alexandra calls the fight of her life, she finally got answers after seeking additional medical assistance. And I was in the middle of a haircut and they called me and said, come back right now, right now, something's in your leg. She was diagnosed with rhabdomyosarcoma from a tumor in her lower left leg. But a month later, doctors spotted something on the MRI. You're going to lose your leg. And I said, uh -huh. what? This resulted in Alexandra undergoing a left below knee amputation. This then led to the realization of a misdiagnosis. Life over limb. I, I have children. I needed to save my life and amputating my leg was going to save my life. The biopsy came back as pleomorphic leiomyosarcoma, an even more rare form of cancer with very little research. Today, Alexandra is stage four, which has led to her doctor predicting her life expectancy as a sarcoma continues to attack her body. He told me I had about a year, and that was a couple months ago. It's been the victory lap of her life, making as many memories as she can with her husband and two young children. I just want my kids to be happy, and no matter if I'm here or not, I just want them to know that I'm always with them, I'm always protecting them. But Honestly, I, I tell them these things all the time. She has one message for her cancer. <sighs> Go away. I just, I want it to be gone. I just want it out of my body. It feels very strange to have an invader in my body that's not supposed to be there. And there's really nothing I can do about it. Now today, Alexandra and her family will be on their way to Universal Studios through an organization called the Jack and Jill Foundation, giving them some more lasting memories together. Now in two weeks, Alexandra's family is also going to be hosting a fundraiser to help raise money for her children. I'll of course have all that information for you on our website, kgun9.com. For now, in the studio, I'm Brooke Chow. Kgun9, on your side.